So here we go again for today. And today we will need to be alert. And thank God we just spent the night. So uh, I don't think we should be, I don't think our mind, I think our mind should be alert right now. So get ready. Mm -hmm. Biblical examples of God's speed. Stronger again. Biblical examples of God's speed. Number one, the resurrection. Jesus, after his resurrection, was moving at such a high speed that he was able to walk through a closed door, but then slowed himself down enough that he could eat fish and ask them to touch him to see that he was alive. Jesus slowed down light speed or energy speed and converted to physical product for the purpose of being relevant on the earth. This is also the reason why Jesus was able to appear in many different forms, unrestricted by earthly laws and principles. Now, for people who are not here yesterday or who didn't hear the explanation, this was like, this is just like science. This is like, uh, this is like unexplainable things. But I will not explain it again. Go find the videos from yesterday. I'm going to move forward. The third principle. Only when material mass can be converted to energy does it become invisible and unhindered by earthly mass laws and principle. Five from you, it's okay. So what this is saying is that only when material mass or physical product, uh, you know, what do you call mass again? Matter. 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 Huh? Object. Matter, object, yeah. Only when an object, mass, product, anything physical, anything material, matter, is converted. Only when it's converted to energy at the rate of the speed of light squared, does it become invisible? And because it becomes invisible, it also becomes unhindered by earthly mass. What is that all saying? It looks like talking chemistry. Okay. I want this thing, I want this, to go through this wall and appear in the other room. It didn't go through. It's not going through. Okay, let's now use another example. I want to enter into this place and appear in the other room. I'm not going through. It's not working. Why? Because this is a material mass. So why am I not going through? There is a law. That law is called gravity. Gravity, And because of gravity, this material mass is stable on, on a space. On the earth, it's, it's immovable. It's limiting, hindering me. <clears throat> but that is not even the biggest problem. This is not a hindrance. When I operate on another dimension, on the dimension of the spirit. So what do I need to do to be able to go through? And what did Jesus do? Let's explain Jesus. How was Jesus able to appear when the, Lord, when the doors were, when the windows, doors, everything were locked? So the same hindrance, he had the same hindrance, but he was still able to, 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 to enter. So how was he able to enter? So what, this is exactly what that place is explaining to you. So the thing only depends on the speed. The reason why you can feel this wall and why this wall is still standing, and not just this wall, anything material, is because the speed of energy has been reduced to the level of solidity of material presence. Okay, let me now say... This is water. Mm -hmm. 
this water, if I splash it on this wall, it will also not go through. Because the reason why I'm seeing the water is because this water has also been reduced. The energy of the water has been reduced to the minimum uh, speed of light or speed, just speed of energy, sorry, of energy that it has now become visible. Anything visible is because it has been reduced to the level, to the bare minimum level of energy for it to be palatable and you know, uh, be able to li live in material, physical realm. It has been converted to our realm to be able to abide under the law of time, space, and matter. So that law or gravity is holding it from going through. But if I now reduce this water further, even lower, this, in this shape, I put this in uh, freeze, deep freezer, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And even, if, let's assume that this is no more there. This, uh, this, the glass is no more there. But the shape of the water will still be like this, mm -hmm. right? So, and I bring it out, it will even be harder for it to pass through. So, we have seen two conditions of the water. This normal room temperature water, which is visible, but it's not brick. Because it is, you know, living condition uh, limit that is maintained. God did that for water to be in that automatically. God regulated that. But we can manipulate that speed and that energy. So whatever you call water, that same water, the one you are seeing here now, that same water is all around us. And it's what is God is responsible for what we are breathing, oxygen. Only it has been, the energy has been heightened a little bit. So we don't see it. Yeah. Wow. But it's still all around us. But God maintained this one, water, because we need it to survive to eat and all that. But we could also manipulate and use the same principle that God uses. Manipulate it, and when we manipulate, that is exactly what we did when we go into the refrigerator, freezer. And we froze it. We just manipulated water. So, and when, you, when it's frozen, do you still see water? No. no. What do you see? A mass. a mass. You see a mass. Or what? A block. A block or ice. 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 Yeah. Huh? Solid. Something solid. Mat mass. You just see. Yeah. You see a block of. You see something material. Something. But then, if I want this water, because as a block, it couldn't go through this wall. But as water, it also couldn't go through. But it's easy to make it go through. How? Let me put that water under the heat. If I keep on eating it, this water will disappear into flame, vapor, 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 into vapor or steam, and then it will go anywhere. And it will all be in that room. It will be all where in the atmosphere. <laughs> I, so can, now try to read that thing again. Thought principle. Only when material mass can... So, you remember the material mass is the ice, the block, when, when that same block, you picture the block, which was, you know, lower, you know, reduced in low energy and became a block, that same water, okay, that is the mass, material mass, okay? Only when material mass can be converted to energy does it become invisible and unhindered by so what when what what did we when did the block what did the block do that is the block the material mass that is converted when we did what when we heat it up when we increase the energy or on another way we can when we increase the speed of the energy and then that same material mass was what converted converted when it became va uh, vapor, what, that is what we call energy, yeah? Here. That is what we call energy, a higher energy, right? 
So it became, but, so when it, then let's now answer, demonstrate what is written there. When it becomes that vapor, is it visible? No. no. So it becomes energy. It's, it's only the energy. Okay, it becomes energy. Then it becomes in visible. And because it becomes invisible, it doesn't have mass body anymore. Yeah. So what what does it what what capability does he have now? Aha! Uh -huh. It now has the ability as an energy to penetrate. So the, therefore, the last principle there says, unhindered by every mass. And the law of gravity and the laws of the earth doesn't anymore. So whenever you project yourself into a higher level, oh. <laughs> whenever you project yourself into a higher level of energy, oh, now you are talking. You are. <laughs> You become on in by earthly forces. Hallelujah. And by earthly limitations. Yes. By the physical mass of this world. Hindrances and blocks and walls of this world. And that's why Jesus God in Galatians chapter 4 was saying a son, even though he's a here. But as long as he refuses to grow to become a son, he's under the authority of the elements of this world. Yes. Elements of this world. But when you come higher and become a son, as many as are called sons of God, are these that are, as many as are led by the Spirit, sons operate on the level of the Spirit, which is a higher level of energy, which is not limited by And that is the difference between a son and a child. So a child, even though, you know, but is but is still under the submission, under the forces, limitations of the elements of this world. He's subject to guidance. He's subject to Protection is yes, yes, to yes. anything, but when you become a son, <laughs> it is you are now subject to the spirit. As many as are led by the spirit, they are the son. That's a higher energy. So they rule over mass, over the laws of the world, over situations, and that is why only sons can be given to become deliverers and saviors. For God so loved the world that he gave not his child, but, but his son. Because only sons, because when you are, because unto us a child is born. A ch child is a burden. A child is somebody you have to be taking care of. You have to be, you cannot, but, a, but unto us a son, a, a child is born, but a son He's is given. given. Sons are given to rule, to dominate. They are gifts because they come to help. They come to rule. They are, you don't run after them. They rule over situations. So, so what we are talking about here is that when we come over higher in energy, in the energy of the spirit, which is the highest is light. You know, there are different things, energy, that there are different uh, dimensions of increased energy. Yes. You know, what could increase your energy could be love, yes. faith, yes. kindness, yes. all the positive yes. things. They are increasing your energy, but the highest is light. You remember? Yes. And, you know, when the light becomes squared, then it also be it becomes completely invisible. So what did Jesus do? How was Jesus able to enter? Jesus had resurrected, and it was now his spirit. It was now, no, uh, it was now operating on the level of the spirit, you know. So when he wanted to now come to visit, he, he just lowered the energy. So he came from, and when you are in the level of the spirit, you don't, walk, you don't need to walk, or you don't need to strive. Because the, the reason for work is only because of the 
time, space, is because of the it's because of the material world. That's why you need work. But in the spirit realm, you don't work like that. In the spirit realm, the only thing you need to, for example, transfer from heaven to here is just to think about it. Yeah. If I just think about America right now, that I want to be there, like, like I don't have to speak it. The reason why I have to speak it is because I'm confined. Yes. Mm. But when in spirit, I just need to think it in, my, in me that I want to be there, and I'm there right yes. now. Yes. Yes. So that's what Jesus did to be here. Yes. He, he, he was operating the heightened energy, spirit energy, spirit speed. So that speed brought him here. But so, and that's, with that speed, he was able to, like, you remember the vapor? Yes. You remember the, it, was, it couldn't enter when it's lower energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It couldn't enter when it's just average energy. But when it's at a lower energy, phew, it just entered easily. So that's what Jesus did. At the higher energy, which is the energy of light, phew, he just was able to. But when he appeared before them, he reduced the energy himself, just like you could reduce the energy of this water to become solid or you could re reduce the energy of the vapor to become like room temperature water that you see so that's what jesus did and he said touch me yeah. Yeah. and then it disappeared again mm. that is operating in the in the speed of the spirit in the speed of the energy that's manipulation of so the thing we should also we should know as spiritual people is that in the spiritual world in the spirit realm, we should not allow physical world to hold us back. Mm. And we should be dominating on the spiritual, I mean, on the physical realm. Why? Because we are spirits. Mm -hmm. We should always remember that, that we are spirits. And our spirit man, the Bible says we are seated at the right hand of the Father. See yourself from there. Mm -hmm. If you are seeing yourself from the lower energy, energy here, then you are under the forces of the, of the earth. But if you see yourself the real, you know that you are just here to operate, to function. So that's why we relate to God by faith and in the spirit. But then whatever we get, the information, the ideas, the vision, the understanding, we bring it here to a lower level and we're able to put them down together in the system, you know, build it. And then that's why we should always be converting from our dominion, from our place. That is our normal dominion. That's our place. That's our place of our board. Our place, normal place of abode, is the right hand of the Father. That's why the Bible says that he that comes from above, he, your, from your mind, you must always see yourself as coming from above. Then you are above everything. But the reason why Christians struggle with demons is because they don't have this idea. They are coming from under. And they are already at a disadvantage. Yeah. You are not com you are not ruling over. You are coming from you just like saying you want you are coming with a mask and you want to pass through the wall. Uh -huh. And then you are still thinking of Satan. If you are coming from above, you know that Satan, everything forces are under your feet. That's why Jesus said you should always see yourself in uh, in, in the heavenly place. You know, man. In, see yourself in the heavenly realm where Christ is. So that is where we should be operating from. Operate from heaven. Operate from the heavenly realm. That's you are a spirit. Believe it. We've got to believe that we come from a higher place. And I proved that to you yesterday by telling you how pregnancy takes place. How conjunction takes place. And you are a spirit. And that's why light appears at the moment of uh, meeting, meeting of eggs, well, conception. Yes. Yeah, when the conception comes, light comes because you are coming. Your, that is your reality. The, the, the light they see is you. So our real reality is the spirit person. So, and how do we assess that spirit? Faith. Faith is the language of that spirit. So it is through the spirit, I mean, through faith that you are able to see you know, you're able to see pictures, imagine, and by faith you're able to know that God is there, you know, because he that comes to him must know that. So it's that assurance that, and then you, you should be able to, that faith converted to action, to be able to now make things happen here on the earth, and all that. So um, what I'm saying is that don't connect yourself to body. Because this is physical mass, it's the lower living. Connect yourself always to the spirit. See yourself only as the spirit person. Connect yourself to God, the spirit as well. So operate from there. Then you are already 
mentally. So, so you know, you, the, the doctrines of all those demons, deliverance, and if, you know, they just miss it. They are making you to think that you are, yeah, yeah you are you are the lower level even, yes. not even at the same level, but even a lower level. Mm. So they got the whole thing wrong. Mm. But you must see yourself always. It's a positional thing. Yeah. I used to tell you people about how I cast out demons and how people were struggling with some demons. And I just, it's a positional thing. Yeah. Why I've never, why, you know, you know, people tell me they are fasting against me and all the 40 days fasted or they, they send snake against me and things like that. And I don't even pray about it. Or they say, oh, pray. I don't even pray about it. When you pray about it, you speak, you are still believing that you are down and you need protection. No, no. I am a, it's a positional thing. What do I mean positional? I am seated already. It's a positional thing. Over there, we are not even bothered. <laughs> and when he say he that comes from above is above, it's a positional thing. When I'm coming from there, I am already over there. Every other thing is down. And you talk and think like that. So you are, that is the place where you belong as a son. Mm. You are not under the elements. Mm. All the elements are under your feet. That's right. And you know that, yes, I see a body, yes. but my body is for me to be able to function here yeah. because of the law of time, time. space, space matter. I need it. It's my confinement to be able to f be, bring the will of my father yeah, that is in heaven down yeah, here yeah. to the earth. I need it. And that's why every day I'm taking advantage of it and I'm converting something from my father's you know, kingdom from, to the earth here. I'm bringing his will down here every minute, every day. I am looking at what he has already created, what I could really modify, what I could improve, what I could produce, what I could convert to make everybody you know, see the thing I'm doing and everything. But for my position or position. I'm talking about men, you know, mental, uh, spiritual position. Your understanding that you're walking. Your awareness that you must walk in. It's a position of thing. Reseated in Christ Jesus. Amen. At the right hand of the Father. He is that day you will know that I am in you. Amen. And I, you are in me. It's a position of thing. That is what Jesus was operating in. Yeah. And that's why he could come in and out of the spirit. Yeah. When I'm in the spirit, I convey, I come, I come, I come, I, come, I come, uh, interact with my father. I, I fellowship with the father. I fellowship with the spirit. I enjoy myself, and I just move in and out. And I, I open my eyes, and I'm here again, and I'm talking to you, just like I'm doing right now. You know, I can go into the spirit right now, like right now I'm seeing the spirit. There's like somebody watching you know, that has um, mm, prostate, prostate. Prostate, a, a man, it's not cancer yet, maybe it's a cancer, but, you know, prostate, like a man condition, you know, and I'm seeing that, I'm seeing that right from the spirit and now, we should be able to walk in the spirit and now, like that all the time, because from the spirit, it's your spirit man that is, you are, you are releasing, you know, I could see, imagine Jesus, right, I could see the Father, I could see heaven, just like you could imagine that somebody is sitting there right where with you, you could see your, you know, shadow, you could just imagine that you are hearing me, somebody is in there, that, your spirit man is operational. You could be walking in and out just like Jesus did. And then I'm here, I'm again here. That's the mind control now. And then, but the spirit control is faith, it's release your spirit. So this is the way we are supposed to, and this is the way Jesus functions every day. Yeah. Easily. Easily. Hmm. So we are spirit being. And when you are sons like that, then, you know, you, you put elements of this word in place, you rule over it. So that's exactly what we are talking about here. Mm. So the principles of the earth, you are using them to build the kingdom of God. Yeah. The mass, they are your raw materials mm. for you to be able to establish the will of God. Mm. They are necessary because that's the way it's cool. If, it's, if the mass is not there and the law of gravity is not there, then what will happen is that, so you don't see mass as a problem. You don't see these hindrances as a problem. They are your raw materials to be able to establish. Mm. Because without them, without that law of time, space and matter, matter then it, it will be like the uh, astronauts. You remember the astronauts yes, in the cosmos? Yes, then yes. when you go out of that place, then you begin to float. Mm. So we need it here not yes. to float. Yes. So that's why we are stable. That's why everything is stable. That's why we're able to be the kingdom. And the reason why God created that law of gravity here for everything to be stable is because it needed to establish the kingdom of God here. Yes. 
And it has to be established. It has to be stable. That's why we needed the body for that. So that we'll be able to operate on that dimension. This is a lower energy dimension. Yeah. That's why everything is visible. That's why the law, the first law we said, any experience, spiritual experience, or prayer, or prophecy, or the word of, you know, what is a prophetic word, or prayers, or of praise and worship, all those things, if they are not converted to material, uh, you have tangible product, if they are not converted, it's a waste of time. Yeah. That's why even we needed to be converted mm. to energy, so that means to a lower energy, material, uh, material manifestation, so that we'll be able to do what we are doing. And they, we, that is when you become operational. That's when you become effective here on earth. That is the purpose to be here. That's the earth. The earth is all about material things. If you know, we are now doing you know, principle three. Um, I was talking about principle one, then principle two. So I just want, needed you to understand what Jesus was doing right there. Yeah. Yeah. Very clear. Yes. Yeah. yes. Just always remember water. Yeah. Remember those three states. Mm -hmm. Our normal state is like the, uh, the earth, normal water, something. But you could always also go to the uh, frozen, uh, lower energy, solid, yeah. or you could. Go to higher vapor and which is increased energy. Yes. Yeah. The same thing with us, but we have the advantage in this way. So that's why no unbeliever should be doing better than us if we understand this. Oh. But because we are not being taught, we are just being taught as if we are doing normal. Uh -huh. But the unbelievers, with the greatest things they are doing, the reason why they are doing it is that they are observing nature, what mm -hmm. God has already brought out. Yes. And they are using that to create new things. Uh -huh. But in our own case, we could go higher yeah. and yes. have relationship with the Father. And from there, download information, right? And then get ideas, and those ideas convert them into pictures, and the pictures submit them into paper and sketches, and then with hope and with perseverance and with character, develop. And that's why we need education at this stage, yeah. so that you can go and know the skills and get the skills on how to make you know, those ideas work, to commit them, to put material things into conjunctions and make them to be able to do exactly what you want them to do. That's why we need mathematics. That's why we need engineering. By the way, I hope, uh, you know, that's it. That's why I said, I hope you slept. You, <laughs> you will need that your mind. I told you, you will need your mind. <laughs> and if you feel like sleeping, just do like a wait, wait. <laughs> Stand up. I just be pacing. So that <laughs> All right. Now let's go. I think I, I, that introduction was good for you too. Yes. Okay. Because I'm going to be using other biblical. So you now uh, uh, now I'm going I, uh, you remember I explained to you why miracles happen. Yes. And you know real miracles. How Jesus was able to perform the miracles because of the energy yes. level of light he was yes. carrying. Positive energy. Yes. And what happens to the dark to the dark side, to the negative energy, sicknesses and things like that. Okay. So now let's uh, continue here. So, let, so that was one example we saw with Jesus the resurrection. coming to the resurrection. Another example of this <laughs> is is uh, Jesus walking on water. I want you people to be able to explain to me yourself now the mystery. Of the miracle of Jesus walking on water, how does that happen? <laughs> so that you don't keep on living in misery. <laughs> because it's your father, God is your father, and Jesus is your senior brother. You must be able to know how these things work. <laughs> so that you'll be able to be like him. Yeah. But that's the idea. So let's read this. No, no, let's first of all read the scripture. Okay. John 6, John chapter 6, verse 16 to 21. Now when evening came, his disciples went down to the sea, got into the boat, and went over the sea towards Capernaum. And it was already dark, and Jesus had not come to them. Then the sea arose because a great wind was blowing. So when they had rowed about three or four miles, they saw Jesus walking on the sea and drawing near the boat, and they were afraid. But he said to them, It is I, do not be afraid. 
Then they willingly received him into the boat, and immediately the boat was at the land where they were going. <laughs> I have marked that. Who, who, wants to, who wants to explain what's going on here? Oh, you, okay, Pastor, Pastor Aze wants to do it. If you cannot do it, I will do it for you. But I just want to test your knowledge right now. So I think we don't need to be told. Jesus just transformed himself to the spirit and was just flexible to walk on the water. Yeah, but that, is, not the, sink. that is general. We need explanation. Yeah, please. And who wants to try? <laughs> okay. So, uh, I would like to. Yeah. I would like to read the scripture again, and okay. then I would explain. Now, when evening came, his disciples went down to the sea, got into the boat, and went over the sea towards Capernaum. And it was already dark. And Jesus had not come to them. Mm -hmm. Then the sea arose because a great wind was blowing. So when they had rowed about three or four miles, they saw Jesus walking on the sea and drawing near the boat. And they were afraid. But he said to them, it is I, do not be afraid. Then they willingly received him into the boat. And immediately... The boat was at the land when they were going. Uh, from where, my, where they were going? Where they were going. Uh, because I read the scripture before, I understand that Jesus went to pray before this encounter. He, yes. he separated himself. Yes. So during his prayer session, he got into the speed of the Spirit. Or he increased his energies, his energy, his speed of energy, uh, and we understand that by this, this is the scripture. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Are Imme you okay. Immediately, Jesus made his disciples get into the boat and go before him to the other side, while he sent the multitudes away. And when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up to, on the, the mountain by himself yes. to pray. <laughs> and now, when evening came, he was alone there. So yeah. I believe the true prayer. Ah, you see, he's you know he's talking now. You go ahead. Yeah. He's proving himself to be around. Yeah. He, so yes. So true prayer, Jesus. It he, he increased the speed. He increased the speed. You didn't need to transform. You didn't need to turn to spirit. He only increases energy. Yeah. Because when you are interacting with God, God is spirit. Yes. Mm. Yeah. And when you are not just showing, ba -ba 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 -ba, but when you are activating your spirit man yes. with God, and you are interacting with the Father, that residue mm. of interaction of mm. the rubs mm. off. Mm. So you gain that, you increase tempo. Your tempo, the energy level has been immensely increased. Hmm. So it can happen with us too. And why am I saying uh, of that? Of course, that is that's not the No, I'm going somewhere. It can happen with us too. And why am I saying that? Because when Moses came down from the mountain, the residue was there, mm. and that was what the people saw and they were like, "Yes, yes. it Thank was God. shining." Mm. And mm. yes, mm. because it was doing. You see, even in the Old Testament, the law was still the same. Yeah. He was interacting with the higher energy. Yeah. The same thing on the mountain of transfiguration. Ah! Make you don't preach my message for me now. Make you don't preach my message for me. The thing still there for front. The thing still there for front now. Yeah. Wow. The Bible is coming alive. Yes. Yes. So true prayer, Jesus increased the speed of energy. I would, yes. you, I would not say prayer. Yeah. I would say true fellowship. Yeah, fellowship. interaction with the Holy Spirit, intimacy with God. Yes. Mm. 
So you don't really need to pray, you just need to maintain relationship and intimacy with the Father. Mm. You just need to activate, make your spirit man alive by maybe prayer, by mm. fasting, or by just interacting with the Holy Spirit, mm. or by just being aware of the presence, by, by practicing the presence of Jesus, mm. yes. or be walking in the consciousness of mm. the Spirit, mm. and being more conscious of your spirit man mm. than your living oh. yeah. yes. Are you forgetting it? Yeah. Yes, yes. So this is exactly... So Jesus had just finished activating the spirit by energy. Yes. It was yeah. easier for him, yeah. Exactly. So, uh, based on the third principle that, that we're, we're talking about, because he had already converted himself, or he had already increased that his speed of energy, so he was unhindered by earthly mass. He was unhindered by the laws and principles that governs the earth. So, which law and principle did he, um, did he uh, superimpose here? So, he superimposed the law of gravity, which... Um, yeah, which should have made him, have limited him when he was walking on the water. So he was able to walk on the water because he had, the, the law of gravity could not hinder him anymore. <coughs> anymore. So that, that was what made him walk on, on water. And then something interesting that I'd never seen, and I, I used to question my no, no, Before you go, you want to go to the last part of this? Yeah. Question? No, no, before yes, you go okay. there, let me explain to you something more that you have not, you have not, some, another way. There are two ways for Jesus to have walked on water. There are two ways. You mentioned one, which is Jesus increasing his own awareness, mm. which is exactly what happened by quickening himself. So he was on a higher, you know, yeah. speed, higher level of energy. But there is another way he could have walked on water, which is, you know, make, okay, let me first of all, Say what explain how this happened with the one that he did now, which is he was at a higher level of energy, which is spirit. The speed was far. So the reason he was able to step on water and the water didn't he didn't get drunk. I mean he didn't go so down, he didn't sink, is because because it's a higher level. You know, I told you that when this water is just a normal energy right now, room energy. Okay, but if it becomes higher. This room, something, it's regarded as solid. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So at the level where Jesus was walking, water was solid. Mm. Oh. 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 <laughs> you didn't oh. get water oh. to repeat it? Oh. Okay. <laughs> you didn't get, let me wow. repeat it again. So Jesus was solid. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 So the water is like solely. Yeah. Yes. Mm. I have, uh, hmm. There is a law in science, the, science. the law of Archimedes. Yes. When um, the mass, Archimedes, yeah. the, when the weight of the, because here we see that Jesus, the, the weight, the, the mass of Jesus was lower than lighter, yeah, the, the than lighter the, than than, than the water. Of the water. The water. So, so the he water can flow solely. Solid. Compared to his, yeah. Oh, yeah. So that is the law that mm. came that Jesus operated in at this particular time because his own speed, just like the vapor, mm. compared to because the in, the vapor is the increased energy. Now compared to water, vapor is light, lighter, yes. and in comparison to vapor and water, this water is solid. Yes. Now then, let's go for that. But in comparison, this water to ice, if it's coming from block. Mm -hmm you know, from the freezer, yeah. then it will mean that this water is light. Yes. Lighter than yeah. the something. Yeah. So, yeah. So, because of that, the same thing happened. But if you go down, this this water now will look like it is flame yeah. compared to ice. Yes. But when it is goes higher, this water will look like ice yes. when it comes to vapor. Yes. I don't think you... Are you getting it? Yes. So, yes. that is... <laughs> <laughs> Let him say something. <laughs> it's just like people eyes are opening yes. this time. <laughs> it's, it's simply, sorry, it simply means that miracle 
Yeah. Is simply an observance yes. of observance of laws. Yes. There's nothing mysterious no, nothing, about miracle. No it's just yeah. that you are doing it at a very fast, fast rate. rate. Yeah, is it, is it that's, speed? that's what miracle is all about. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. still observe the laws. Now, on, on those it's just says, normal. It's just said it, but I'm going to be a producer. Can't do three minutes. The process can't be more. Yeah. It's what we it's come, what we observe every day. On yeah. the earth, but just that because we do it at a very, very slow speed, so we are like under the law. Yeah, but when you go to the realm of the spirit, you are not above the law, yeah. but you are still observing the law. Yeah, it's just yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so that is one aspect of how Jesus could have done that miracle. Mm -hmm. So I just want people to walk in understanding mm -hmm. the other way Jesus could have done that miracle. Do you want to say it, or I should say it? See it, sir. It's just the other, it's the opposite. <coughs> Jesus could have remained the way he is, and that's what he did for Peter. Mm. You know, Peter didn't go to be with the Lord. He didn't increase mm. yeah. his own mm. energy, energy level. Okay. Yeah. He didn't increase his own speed. He was still at the normal speed. Mm. So what Jesus said by saying that word, come, oh, yeah. is that Jesus reduced the, the, spe the speed of the water. Oh. Oh. So for Peter, it became solid because yes. of faith. Oh. <laughs> But because he believed it, mm. because he, he, you know, he believed the word of Jesus. Mm. So mm. through that faith, mm. spiritually, the faith activated mm. the force of nature mm. that made the, the chemistry of the water to, to become Added. solid, mm. yes. ardent. Mm. But when it lose faith, when it lose faith, when it the, the, the normal law of nature took its course. Yes. And the water became water again. I began to say. <laughs> so that is demonstrating to us why faith in God is very necessary. When he was having faith in Jesus, in the words of Jesus, he was at a higher level immediately. Yes. And physical mass again couldn't, and the laws of nature couldn't affect him. But when he just re cut that connection with the spirit, that's why I was telling you, always see yourself at that spirit, at a higher level, coming from on high, you know, seated at the height of that of uh, what, who we are in Christ Jesus. I am in him, he is in me. I am my father, I want. Always see yourself as one with God. Always see yourself as coming, when it's like Peter, Connecting with Jesus like that by faith. Once you are walking in that faith, you are above yes. all the things that yes. are, all the elements of life. Yes. And he that comes from above that way is above. 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 So, so that's why the Bible says the just shall live by faith. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> because when you are living by faith, then you are superior. Then you are able to converse the will and the purpose of God here easily. Because you are seeing something. Because uh, that's why the Bible says that all the things that are visible, they are temporal. Yes. Mm -hmm. But the things that we should be living by are the invisible thing. That is the realm of faith. That is the higher level. That is where you should be living at all mm -hmm. times. But here, yeah, we are trying to impress ourselves with what somebody has done. Mm -hmm. I have this membership. I have this member. Those are past tense because they are already visible. But you should be, it is, I'm more concerned about what you are seeing that has not yet been converted yet. Because those are the things that are permanent. Because they, they are still being converted. They are still being brought to the physical realm. And then once you bring that to the physical realm, go back again and draw another one. That's how we're supposed to be living. The judge shall live by faith. What does that mean? He's seeing new projects. He's seeing new things in the future. He's living by those things that are not seen. So he's being able to walk. You know, just like the water is there, but you are seeing the invisible over there. If the focus is over there, so you, all these things, they are just, you just walk over them. You don't even see. The thing you are seeing is what is driving you, what is pulling you. That is a higher level of life that God wants to send to you. Wow. 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 Ah, okay, go ahead. Wow. <laughs> wow. So I needed to point that out from that place that there are two ways Jesus uh, operated there. The way he operated himself and then the way he operated with uh, Paul, I mean, Peter, you know, there are two ways, too. And it's well illustrated with this vapor, water, ice. You know, it could be either way. But then something else happened in that verse that he just saw. I know where he's going. 
Uh, but he let him explain. Eh? Since 2014, and you didn't know how to explain it. I was like, there's something about it. I wrote it down yesterday again because it came back to me yesterday. I was like, oh, is this a Give him the, mi- give him the microphone. Voila. <laughs> You said you have seen it since? I've marked this in my Bible since about 2015, thereabout, when I saw, and immediately, the boat appeared at land. I'm like, what does it mean by immediately? Immediately. There's something, I tried to look into different materials. No one I could know, explain it. I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 I couldn't find to explain it. That to you so yesterday, <laughs> when you were talking about it again, right, uh, brooding face and all of that, I noticed something down there. Is this just a glimpse into the travel, into the future of travel and transportation, right? That God was showing us <laughs> in there because I grouped it with Philip's flight after baptism of um, the uh, Ethiopian yeah. eunuch, yeah. right? Yeah. And then I remember that actually Jesus, after he calmed the sea as well, that was what happened. There was an immediacy that there was something, a suspension yeah. that was able. But now, are you able to understand it now, or we should sit here explain it? It's a suspension of time. It will, let him, let him do it. It's not suspension of time. No. It's not suspension of time. Ah! You could, yeah, like, I know he's already having the microphone. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Let him explain. Let him explain. So let's read from verse twenty. <laughs> they were afraid. But then, scripture, scripture. Yeah, he's there. He's there. He's there. He's there. Yeah. But let's see what he said in verse 20. But he said to them, It is I, do not be afraid. So Jesus revealed himself and he wanted to, that was like an invitation that he gave to them into the realm where he was, he was operating. They are the speed. So, more like what Pastor was explaining about intimacy with God and our intimacy with God, our relationship with God puts us at a higher level, at a higher speed. Mm-hmm. So that was the invitation that Jesus was giving to them in that and 20. That's, the, that's why nothing should replace solitude in your life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because when you come out of solitude, you'll be feeling like the way Jesus was feeling here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anybody who has practiced solitude for a longer time, mm-hmm. you'll be feeling it. Mm-hmm. Because you begin to download information and see things mm-hmm. and be able to see that no hindrance. Mm-hmm. You, you just see that no hindrance. Mm-hmm. That you can't do anything. And that's why sometimes it's, it will be very confusing for people who are not on that level to understand what yeah. I, why I yeah, say yeah, yeah. the way I say some things sometimes, that I can yeah. change Nigeria. They, they, they just think this guy is just proud. Yeah. Yeah. Is proud. Yeah. But I am not, I'm not even talking about pride. I'm just talking about, for me, that's my own realm. Yes, yes. To me, I'm just talking no more things. Because yes, I yes, see yes, that yes, I... Yes, yes. Hmm. That's what you know. Uh, uh, I yeah, don't know. I, I, yeah, yeah it's just, it just like, the, it. yeah, just tangible. Yeah. Sorry, sir. When I enter here to the cell, when yes. I started teaching, this is what the Holy Spirit told me that they will see what one man can do. Now yeah. I begin to believe now. <laughs> <laughs> Say it again because they didn't hear you. Yeah. Honestly, sir, when I came here today, I said, when I, when I came here today, <laughs> Yes, it's okay like that. You can yeah. When I came here today, when you started the teaching today, that was what the Holy Spirit ministered to my heart. What? That I should see what one man can do. I begin to believe more that one man can truly make a difference in the country. Mm. I'm telling you, that one man can make a difference. One person can change a nation. Yes. I, when we came here today, that was the Holy Spirit ministered to but my heart. But you see, can you imagine you not knowing what you now know? Yes, and sir. hearing Pastor Sunday saying this yes, thing, you yes, just sir. think one man can change a nation. Mm. One man can. But you see, it is understanding. Maria wants to add to it. Yes. Praise the Lord. Amen. Pastor, uh, what I'm saying is, why, why, when you are me, I understand you properly. You know, that is why I came here. Because when I listen to you, what, what, all that you are saying, I've witnessed it. I say, no. People are saying, Pastor, is Antichrist. It's not Antichrist. Because I have passed through this, so I have to go there. I have, yeah, I have to go there and see you. Because you know, you know what I mean to have been witnesses all these years. So I'm so grateful that I'm here. You know, I hope anybody can witness what Pastor is saying. But the problem that I was having was that, I did, uh, especially why I came particularly, is to convert it. Yes, You know, yes. to transmit it, to mm. bring it down. Yes. That's, that's why I have the problem. World. Exactly, yes. that's why. 
just a uh, short question. I think that... Uh, Charles? Short, short question. Short, okay, okay. short. Uh, I would say that, uh, for example, this transportation, how to say it, mm -hmm. I think that there are some guys from between Christianity and New Age yes. who are te telling stories how they have been moved from place to place. And I yes. think that uh, there's certain kind of, how to say, challenge uh, so that so, so there are some people who are trying to do those things. So are they a possibility to have wrong kind of powers? Oh, yes, this? it's yeah. possible. In Africa, <coughs> in Africa, everybody in Africa knows that the witches and wizards travel. Yeah. Yes. They teletransport, yes. yes. In this, it just, it's not about power. No. It's about just living this realm. It's just like, for example, the uh, uh, astronauts leave the Earth, and once they begin to leave the Earth, they begin to float. Ah, how can they float? I can't float here now, because it's another, lo it, you just step out. Into the, but, but they are still in space. They are still in, but this one, it's, you just step out of, you know, into the spirit realm. Once you step out of the spirit realm, but you can step out of the spirit realm different ways. Mm -hmm. Either through God yeah. or through Astral. your spirit. Just, yeah. no, uh, as, uh, Astral. trans, Astral. yeah, Astral. astrology, Astral. you know, as Astral. 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 yeah. You can do it different ways. Yeah. So it just being, it just operating in the spirit realm, yes. Um, that doesn't show your own spirituality mm -hmm. as to God or closeness no. to God. Mm -hmm. You know, it could show your spirituality to other side. Yes. Mm -hmm. But when you are coming from God, because God is a higher, mm -hmm. and you are the higher, they, they are still on the third, I mean, on the second level, on the second heaven. But you are coming from the third heaven. So you can just tell to, to them and tell them, come down, come down fall down, down, down. Because you are the higher, the right hand of the highest okay. heaven. Yeah, so you can, they are just manipulative to you. Yes. It's just like they are on the level of water. This is superior to the level of the ice. Yes. So all of you are living on the level of the ice, and they go upper to the level of the water, and you are thinking, wow, ooh. But you are on the level of not just vapor, vapor. vapor. but on the level of light. light. Yes. <laughs> so this, this uh, helped me to understand more uh, when I read one of your books, The Mountain of in ignorance. ignorance. And that is what is killing us in Africa. Yes. Mountain of Ignorance. Mountain of Ignorance. Because this explanation <laughs> have just... Stand up, because they can't see you. Stand up. So this, this explanation has just demystified a lot of things that... Um, and it is that ignorance that these people are using to captivate, to enslave our people and mesmerize them, especially these church people. Yes. Ah. And that, I agree with you when you say that the pastors and the leaders are doing a disservice to our people. To our people. Because when they make you to uh, come to my church, come to me, I'll pray for you. Uh, will deliver you. They are special people. Yes, they are. They are not making you to realize that this level of conversion is not for individuals or particular people. It's a right of every Christian. So my question to pastors, to geos, to leaders is: Why are you trying to hide this truth from me and from others? who need to know so that they live their life independently, trusting yes. God and, and, and desiring to attain to this higher level of conversion of our energy, being more like Jesus. Jesus. To come to, yes, working in love, thanks. Yeah, great. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, yeah. All right. So let's go back to the scripture. <laughs> let's continue. All right. So uh, verse 21. Then they willingly received him into the boat. Uh, what I see here is faith. So their faith was converted there. And what I see also, is, and it says that, and immediately the boat was at the, was at the land where they were going. Even though they were in the midst of the, in, of the sea. wind. Sea. And sea. In the sea, yeah, yeah. So what I see there is... Teletransported. Teletransportation. And I see the idea behind the uh, what we have today as the bullets and the fast trains. Yes. Because what happened was there is a speed that the boat has normally. And it might take maybe two hours or three hours for them to get to the shore. Mm -hmm. But because of the 
of the level of, of energy or speed of energy that Jesus was functioning in mm. and the acceleration, basically. And he invited them to it and they now received it. Now you're getting it. your explanation. Yes, 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 yes. And they received the true faith. Mm. So now, not just Jesus was able to function in that speed. The bold. Oh, everybody. Oh, the bold. Yes. Everything. Yeah. So all they had to do was just to think, where is our, look, our destination? Mm. Just like what Pastor was saying, tele- just talk, our destination is at Capernaum. Yes, you get me to Capernaum. Yes. Yes. Like you speak of yes. Boy, you just got it. Boy, you just got it. Like a speed of light. <laughs> yes, yeah, mm. like a speed of light. You just increase energy. energy. Like a speed of light. No, let him express himself now. No, hmm. I think he has actually put it right. You see, I, I, I think what is, I really do hope that it is actually just a real mountain of ignorance with mm. the leaders themselves, that they actually don't know this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if it really is a case of they know this and they refuse to share this, I don't think they know they how to explain know. this. <laughs> but it's still the same thing. But they know other little things. Yes. Like, you know, everybody can do it. Yes. That one they know. Yes. That the priesthood of all believers, they know for yes. sure. Yes. But still, they are not sharing it. Yes. They might not know this level. Yes. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Ah, yeah, Dojin Gavari. Okay. So, uh, well, they need to change the battery. So, the t- problem is that is with the condition of their hearts mm-hmm. and it and i already explained to you why is because they, they did not work on the hope they emphasize and overemphasize faith yes and you know they got result as a result of faith yes. but the the hope factor which also, which develops and which is responsible for patience, patience yes. 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 character yes. character food of the spirit yes. You know, they didn't dwell too long on that yes. one. Yes. And character is 40%. Yeah, and it's yes. 40%. Yes. So. Yeah, it's true. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So that ignorance, they themselves are living in a mountain of ignorance. So, but uh, uh, Anu has demystified that scripture. Yes. <laughs> Anu has demystified the scripture and let him know probably there. So let me now go give you the uh, gist. Walking on water. <laughs> Second one. Walking on water. When Jesus appeared to the disciples walking on water and they thought they were seeing a ghost. Laws of gravity could be understood here because he was functioning at God's speed. Yes. Is, it, is that clear? But I told you that there are two laws there. Yes. Okay. It's from the side of God mm-hmm. or the manipulation of the speed of the earth. the earth or the water. Okay. That's him now. Okay. So here, let's go, let's see another scripture. Matthew chapter 14, verses 22 to 23. Immediately, Jesus made his disciples get into the boat and go before him to the other side, while he sent the multitudes away. And when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up on the mountain by himself to pray. Now, when evening came, he was alone there. So what is that telling us about the essence and importance of prayer? No, not solitude. He was having solitude, but what is? Was yeah. to see. Yeah, to see because people say, why do we need to pray? Because Jesus was not. Many people pray because they need some miracle yeah. and God to bless them. Oh. But Jesus was not praying because God needed to bless him. Oh. No. So that's why when you listen to my prayer series, you see that one of the most important reasons why you pray is totally different from why the pagans pray. Yeah. That's why Jesus said, "Don't be." 
worried about, don't worry about what to eat. That's not what should be driving you to God. Mm -hmm. If what is driving you to God is what to eat or what to drink, then that is what the pagans do. You are not better than the pagans and the Gentiles. So what should then be driving us? Different things. Relationship. Relationship. Ah, yeah. Because you needed to interact with yeah. your source. Yeah. <clears throat> is your source. That is where you are. That's where you belong. That, you are spirit. You needed to interact with your source. With, with, with that fellowship. You don't, don't you have to be in solitude. It doesn't have to be alone. Just on daily basis, on regular basis, you want to maintain that fellowship, that relationship with your... With your because it is where you get to see. It is where you get to hear and know. And it is where you are coming from that makes you to be higher than the elements of this world. From where you could easily see and understand and navigate the processes of the earth and know what to bring, what to introduce, what to rearrange, what to manipulate, what to, where to speed up, where to lower. You know, it's a great advantage in prayer. Or in intimacy, fellowship with God. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be calling prayer like so religious. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. you know, in interaction with the Father, in maintaining your environment, the environment of God, in being aware, in, in, in practicing the presence of God, in working in the consciousness of the Father, in knowing that I am in Him, He is with me, He will never live. That consciousness, that is what is giving you the edge. That is not it's strengthening your spirit man and always making your spirit man sharper. Yeah. So you are no longer being led by instincts. Yeah. You are no longer being led by your five senses. Mm -hmm. But the way you are, you are now living the way you are supposed to live from spirit out, yeah. from inside out, yeah. not from outside, outside in. in. You are no more being ordinary mortal. Uh -uh. You are being God person mm -hmm. on a daily basis. That is the praying without season. Yeah, that is the praying without the season. Praying. Practi abiding the presence, in the presence, practicing the consciousness, consciousness of the Father, yeah, of His presence. Yes, yeah, coming from inside, living from inside out. So you see that power, and it is that that brought all the effect that we are now seeing. So we see Jesus praying here. Let's see the note. Yep. He had just come from a deep time of prayer and intercession mm -hmm. and was possibly so accelerated in the spirit that... Ah, mm. you see that what that does? It, yes, because it's speed. Mm. Because when you are in spirit trap, you are always faster at a higher level, at a higher speed. Mm. Spirit is always a higher speed than the normal water speed. You are always at the vapor level when you are maintaining that consciousness of the spirit. Uh -huh. He had just come from a deep time of prayer and intercession and was possibly so accelerated in the spirit that not only <coughs> did he walk on water towards the boat, but once he got into the boat, the scripture says the boat was immediately on shore. This scripture leads us to believe that Jesus functioning at God's speed, that is the light speed, once he touched the boat, both himself and those with him stepped into the realm and defied time and space, or in other words, were translated. So, is that still clear? We have yeah. already explained that. Okay. Let, let's, let's, uh, okay, yeah. Three, teleportation. <laughs> and when they came up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord caught Philip away. So that the Enoch saw him no more, and he went on his way rejoicing. Amen. Mm -hmm. Acts chapter 8, verse 39. Yep. So, can you explain to us what happened there? That's what you are saying, right? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Please talk about it. So, at the point, because Philip, even before now, was already. At a heightened point of energy, now yeah. you are talking. he was being led by the spirit because that was the spirit that first of all no, led no, no, him no. out. Where did he get that heightened? By the Holy Spirit. I, no, where where did it come from? You just mentioned the energy. Very, 
Yeah, that energy, that higher level of speed. Yes. Where was he getting it from? From prayer, through prayer. No, no. But read the story now. What was he doing before now? Not was, this story. Remember the previous chapter one. Eight. Yes, he was preaching, and wasn't he? Um, oh, he remember. was holding a city-wide crusade. Crusade. Yes. Yes. Ah. In Samaria, in Samaria. Where already he was already on a higher yes. level, mm -hmm. and there were miracles happening. The whole yes. city converting. People were throwing and burning their demon, uh, images, demons, yes. and yes. things yes. like that. Yes. And he was already at the height yes. yes. phase. Yes. And when they had the spirit of God during that crusade, he was teletransported already there. Yes, he didn't walk here. Yes. He was the spirit of God teletransported him already from that crusade ground yes. to this place. And then back again. again. Yeah. Wow. I didn't see the telephone. Yeah, before. yeah. It's the after one. I yeah. Oh. Mm. It was already on that level, on a heightened level of the energy, spirit energy. And he wasn't praying for this. No, no, no. He was. He was just walking with God. Yes, mm. yes, 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 yes. He was just walking in the spirit. Yes, yes. We were just walking in the spirit. You don't need to look for these things. I'll look for just be friend with God. Yes. Just like uh, Enoch walked with God and he was not. So you now understand what happened. Yes. He walked with God. He was walking in the spirit. Yes. So he was not. He couldn't be here anymore. <laughs> with Elijah, the same thing. Yeah, consciousness of God. Just consciousness of God. Always. Always. You got it. You got it. When Philip had finished <laughs> preaching the gospel to the Ethiopian eunuch, he was so literary, he was literally translated from one place to another. Philip, that is material mass, was in one place and then suddenly in another. This defies various you, you remember how spirits communicate and act. You don't need to talk because you are not having the limitation of the mass. You just need to think, think it. And you are already tele. Yeah. That is a normal thing in the spirit realm. Yeah. Teletransportation. So read that again. Philip. Philip, the material mass, was in one place and then suddenly in another. This defies various earthly realm laws, such as time and even gravity. Philip would have been moving so fast that his conversion experience literally defied time. I'm moving so fast in the spirit because it's the speed. The emphasis there is the spirit, it's the speed. So the speed was higher, just like the speed of the vapor is higher than the speed of the water. The water, the water. The water. The water couldn't go through this wall. Yeah. But the vapor will come because of the speed. And where did that favor, uh, where did we, that water become flavor? I mean, uh, flavor, flavor. Are we vapor, 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 vapor. Where did the vapor come from? The energy, because we heat it. Yes. And when you heat it, it's higher. <laughs> when you are also in relating with God, you are heating up your. Uh, So that interaction with the Holy Spirit, that, you know, con consciousness is hitting up your spirit. Yeah, the higher energy. <laughs> so when you are always thinking about the fact that you are in Christ, Christ is in you, that is hitting up, yeah. When you see, and you always see yourself at the right hand of the Father, or in Christ, or with the Father, you know, doing the will of the kingdom of God, that is, your spirit is a higher level. I think you people, now, you know, I am myself, I'm naive, because when I come to do my daily broadcast and things like that, you know, sometimes you just think that what you know, everybody knows it. But, I, but maybe they don't know, but you don't, I don't care, but I'm just who I am. But right now, I'm just discovering that with you people just discovering what I, I know, 
Then you would begin to all my those my old messages. That's what I was saying to myself that um, you would begin to see them from another. Level. Now we cannot begin to see it. Like before, we were just hearing yeah. it, and we were just like, "Oh yes, this is this is good, this Andrei. is wonderful." <laughs> well, agree, yes, yes, yes. But now you can now see the picture. Like for instance, I was saying I have to go back to the prayer and series. explain everything yes. what I'm trying to. Yes. So I was saying to myself, I have to go back to the prayer series. I have to go back to the love series. Yes. I have to go back to the faith series. Yes. So now I can truly begin to convert. Yeah. Yeah. Not just add knowledge anymore. No, no. <laughs> it will be substance. And also the kingdom series. Yes, and the kingdom series. Mm -hmm. Basically all of them. You now know where I'm coming from. Because if you don't know those things, you just be like say, somebody giving you gold and diamond and like Jesus said, don't give to children. And children, yeah. they will just be appear to dogs, you know, to yeah. swine. So they will, they will not, they don't know what it is. Hmm. Now you will know. Because we don't value a picture that we receive every day. Yes. Yeah, you cannot value. Now you can now value, value at a different level. Father or Holy Spirit show to us, but we, we, don't, we don't. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bro, brother, was in the truck. Yes. Yes, I, I think I was talking with a uh, brother uh, during the breakfast, and he was talking about reading and studying. He studied, but uh. <sighs> yesterday. When you uh, explained about the uh, conversion the energy, the, the guy racing, mm -hmm. and you are reading that thing, the, the, what is that guy? guy? Yeah, you know, the, the first the slide, all of the slides, the guy, the sport guy that was racing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. Ordinarily reading that thing, I didn't understand it. But after you explain it, and I read it ah. again, it came, you know, yeah, live yeah, to yeah, me. Yeah. You know, that you is are, what will happen to my books you have, you have read before. Yes, yes, you will now yes, begin yes. to understand them on another yes. level. That's the same thing that will happen to the tapes, the videos you have listened to before. Yes. You will now begin to understand them on the different, different level now. So, so I thought that, I mean, you are a kind of person that is difficult to catch up with. I think it's almost like impossible. <laughs> so I thought that, okay, I've been following GC, GC, uh, GSA sharing, and uh, at least I, I have know a little bit now. It's like, I, it's like I've, I'm not naughty. I need to go back to now study. I was just reading. Ah. <laughs> now I'm going to study. Yeah. Yeah. Totally different. Yeah. To ground yourself yes. into And my spirit here <clears throat> just telling me that it's not just I have to go back, study, and come back again. And come back again. <laughs> yeah, because this is, I'm thinking I'm getting everything here, but I have to go and really study and return to get some more. Amen. Yes. Okay. Let's go and shake another example. The one he wanted to... <laughs> he wasn't... He, was like, <laughs> he was going ahead of time, too. <laughs> Let's read the scripture first. Matthew chapter 17, verse 1 to 5. Now, after six days, Jesus took Peter, James, and John, his brother, let them up on a high mountain by themselves. And he was transfigured before them. His face shone like the sun, and his clothes became as white as the light. And behold, Moses and Elijah appeared to them, talking with him. Then Peter answered and said to Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to be here. If you wish, let us make here three tabernacles, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. While he was still speaking, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them. And suddenly, a voice came out of the cloud, saying, This is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. Hear him. Who explained to us all the dynamics of things happening in that scripture? So many things happening in that place. Yeah. Yes. But you should be able to understand now 
without me explaining this. I think you people should be able to explain what is happening in that scripture now. Who wants to do it? Who wants to try at least? I know you want to come and try again. Okay, brother, I want to try again. <laughs> Uh, because Jesus was in a high level of energy, beautiful. Then he became light, yes. and he brought because he was in the presence of the Lord, where Moses and Elijah, Elijah, Elijah were, mm -hmm. and he was in fellowship of them. Mm -hmm. So he, they become visible to. Peter to the and other people. Mm -hmm. Other people. Okay, that is one. One interpretation. Yeah, yeah. Pastor wants to. No, from 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 from, from uh, yesterday. Go, go to, sorry, oh, sorry, sorry, sir. From the question somebody mm -hmm. asked uh, DSC yesterday, yes. as to God that uh, how, do, how do we go home and begin to see the kind of thing that DSC is seeing and mm hearing, -hmm. and, and I remember what the forces said they talk about the environment. And I discovered today that from all the teachings of Jesus, before Jesus would ever step out or embark on anything, he for four conditioned himself to an environment of increase Beautiful. of energy. Beautiful. So that's what I saw here. That every Beautiful. time mm -hmm. he must, he always work on his energy ah, before he embark on anything. Very smart. Before ministry or anything, he you has to he work on his energy so that he can live above any challenges he faced that day. So we saw it. That that's the first. And thing. he brought. What the brother said, he brought those people into the, that same that same environment. That same environment. So he carried them along. Okay. So I'm very that is one. one. That's just one aspect, one yeah. dimension there. But there are other dimensions. Uh, yeah. Quickly, the second thing I see there, um, the voice. You no, know, uh, what verse? Where he says that. This is my beloved son. Yeah. In whom I'm well pleased hearing. Okay. At that level, you could hear the voice of God. Easily, yeah. Easily. Mm -hmm. yeah. So Jesus has to bring them along mm -hmm. to that level. So my take is there is that for you to hear the voice of God, mm -hmm. you have to be transported. Come higher. Come higher. Yeah. To the level. Yeah, just increase your energy through fellowship with your God, through, you know, faith. Yeah. Okay, that's another one. Very good. I just want to ask a okay. question. So, at that oh, sorry, thank you. At that point in time, when they saw Jesus, Elijah, and Moses, is it that they themselves had been tran not transported? Were yeah. on a higher yes. energy level as well. Yes. Those people, or yeah. uh, uh, Peter and, mm -hmm. uh, or Jesus deliberately made the three of them to be visible to Peter, James, and John for a reason. Slow and down. if that is the to slow down, and if that is mm -hmm. the case, mm -hmm. what what would have been the reason? I don't know. Okay, okay. If I, there was I, I a was, reason, maybe to strengthen their reason. faith, or I don't know. No, no, no. There okay. was a reason, and the reason is for all of us. Yeah. The reason is more obvious. The reason is easier to understand than the process. Okay. But let me tell you the reason. I still want to know the, okay. <laughs> the let, reason. Let me tell you the reason. The reason is that, the reason is very clear, and the reason is that God is trying to talk to us, yeah. and Jesus is trying to send a message to us. And the message God is trying to send to us is that, you know, in, in, at this point, mm -hmm. even in the eyes of the disciples of Jesus, and because when they say, who am I? Do I always say, you, you are Elijah, you are this. Because <laughs> and in Israel, in the history of Israel and in Israel, the most important and most respected personalities are those people, yes. Moses and Elijah. The law of Moses and Elijah that was transmitted on yes. fire. Yes. So those are the highest authorities. Yes. But they belong in the Old Testament. Yes. Mm. Yes. And Jesus is trying to demonstrate to them illustratively what he had told them earlier that out of all that is born of women, mm. Mm. that John the Baptist is even higher than all these ones, talk less of himself. But God is now, you now combine these pictures of these people, the highest people came, the most respected, Moses, up to now Jews are still respect, using Moses and Elijah as there. So, but Jesus, God himself is speaking. You see, the one you respect most, mm -hmm. Moses. See Elijah, mm -hmm. but now hear the voice. Yes. Yes. Then as soon as that is said, they disappeared. Yes. The time of, the, you know, they have to step out. They have to, 
do, step, no, step out. Mm -hmm. They have to step aside. Yes. Mm -hmm. So Moses has to step aside for the beloved. To that this is the dispensation of Jesus. Yes, yes. Elijah had to step aside. Yes. This is the dispensation of Jesus. Yes. That is why what the Nigerian churches are doing mm. is a lack of, is a big ignorance. Yes. The gospel that is being preached in Nigeria yes. is always referring to Elijah. 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 Oh, where is the God of Elijah? Where is the God of Elisha? Where is the God of Moses? Oh, the, the world that we did this miracle. They are always referring to Old Testament. Yes. But John is trying to say, no, 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 no. The times of the Old Testament is past. The focus now, it, nobody has seen the Father, but the only begotten Son. He has revealed Him. This is my beloved. So we shouldn't use, you know, Old Testament to validate the gospel. No. it is. We use the New Testament to validate the gospel, and we only use Old Testament where it doesn't conflict. So you have to use the New Testament as the sieve. What, the sieve, you call it? Sieve, as the sieve. As deceived. So he, only those things, stories, and things that are experiences in the Old Testament that pass, yeah. that don't conflict, that are in line with the Old yeah. Testament, those are the things that we take from the Old Testament. Yeah. So, but otherwise, they, it, they disappeared. Yeah. Jesus remained. Yes. And then the voice from heaven came yeah. to confirm it. Yes. This is the way now. This is the one to listen to. Yes. No more listening to the laws of Moses. Yeah. Yeah. No more listening to Elijah, which is the symbol of the Old Testament. No more listening to Moses, which is the symbol of law. Yes. It is no more law. Law has been fulfilled in him. Yes. He has fulfilled the law. Yes. So don't worry about law anymore. Yes. Listen to him. He has completed law. He has, you know, fulfilled Old Testament conditions. Listen to him. They live. They bow down. They paid homage. They bow at his feet. Yes. He is their Lord. He is their creator of Moses and Elijah too. Yeah. They have to bow at his feet. Yes. And so don't keep on bowing to them. Yes. It is now Jesus' time. Yes. Dispensation. So that is the reason you wanted to know. Thank but you. that is the one I say is the, uh, is the, sm is the easier part. But it's a message for some people. Yeah, yeah. Because we still pray for yes. Elijah. Up to today. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying that. We are still praying, God, God of Elias. <laughs> no, it's okay no, because no, no. it just shows us that God is a miracle working God. Yes. But the gospel she is not supposed to be, be through, through the prism of the Old Testament. Yeah. Yeah. It is through what Jesus has Jesus done and accomplished. He is the Lord of the Sabbath, <laughs> He is the Lord of Elijah, He is the Lord. Of Moses. <laughs> so, but now let's go to the process. I want you people to get the process yes, yes, yes. of what is happening here. Is there any other person want to explain anything, or I should go ahead? Okay, you want to say? Let her be able to see. She has to see the thing now. If she sees that, she will not be able to see. Maybe near to the booth budget. Or you can come here. You have space here. Yes. Do okay. you want to move to the wall? Move to the wall. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, just put a seat there. Yeah. You can move too. Hey. Hey. Oh, sorry, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you are not moving. Move forward because so that you don't arm their legs. Yeah, so we can have another share here if you want. Much that pastor is still the same yesterday. Okay. No noise now. Pastor Fred, you are still having jet lag. Oh. Well, I, I feel incompetent to see I'm a pastor in your presence, sir. Humble, 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 humble. Humble, pastor. Humble. We need it. We all need that humility. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. So let's get, let's share that scripture again, that story. There are different angles that I want you to see what is happening here. And you must be able to explore all the varieties. But Jesus used one of the various varieties. So number one, what we see in this scripture is that he was transfigured before them. 
But notice that he was transfigured before Moses and Elijah appeared. Mm -hmm. Because one of the options that, of what has could have happened there is that Moses and Elijah came from the higher speed yes. using the speed of light. And because they came, they brought that light with them. You know, each time angels appear, because they transport so fast, and they are coming with the speed of light, mm. so when they slow down, there is still a residue of the light. Mm. That's why we always see that when angels appear, we see great light. Mm. Because they, they are coming from the speed of light, double, mm. and then when it, they come here, you still see residue of it. Mm. Just like you see Jesus coming out with the residue of you know, the, uh, the energy. So that is one thing. We, that could have been the explanation here. But this is not the explanation here. This is rather the explanation on the second one. When God himself appeared. Yes. Okay, let's see. Can you see verse 5? Yes. While he was still speaking, behold, a That is not Jesus who produced that light. No, no, no. And out of that light came what? And suddenly a voice out of the cloud saying, this is... So God came, not physically, but he came closer. That light where he dwells in, and you remember the psalm says, he is the one who dwells in, habitates in the light, great light. God lives in... What does God unapproachable light and that is a communication to you that God descended that God came down God moved closer that unaccessible or what do you call it unapproachable, unapproachable light is what we just saw so he didn't come fully but he just came to speak just his voice coming is already bringing his energy just his voice. Just his voice. Okay. Yes. Just his voice has brought that, uh, that incredible <coughs> amount of energy. They were even overshadowed. Yeah. By that light. Even though there was another light yes. already. Even though there was light already. Yes. Yes. Wow. <laughs> power past power. <laughs> So that is what happened in that particular one. Then let's go back to the previous verses now. <laughs> but what happened before, uh, before in verse... Oy? Ah. Shut it, worries. If what happened in verse 2, and he was transfigured before them, so that is Jesus just projecting his... Just like I project right now into the Spirit. Like, for example, right now I've just projected this. It just, it's so easy. It's just like saying, you know, you are, when you are off radio, you switch your waves. Uh, is it waves? Yes. Yes. So, frequency. 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 Yeah. You, you can just, and you got this MF, FM, this FM, this FM. That's the way you could also turn and, and go into a different wave. So, right now, I'm just trying to catch something in the spirit so that I will, uh, you will know that, you know, I want to give you evidence. Uh, you know, but but you, you couldn't see it. But I I just saw the, I just saw Jesus, and the presence of the Holy Spirit just over mm -hmm. here. You know, but it's easy. But I came back to you to talk to you right just right now. Mm -hmm. Like even right now, I'm just God just gave me information. There is somebody that is having lump of the brain growth in the brain somewhere in the world right now. But somebody knows that person who is watching right now and that person is being released with the connection. So I'm just picking things up in the spirit immediately. Yeah? That's you see? <laughs> that is one of your... One of your what? One of your Christians. One of your members. You see? Wow! You see I just picked that up in the spirit right now. You see, as somebody knows, the person is not here, but I just saw it. Mm -hmm. And so, 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 even though I'm dealing with physical life on the level of la uh, water here, mm -hmm. but I just went to the vapor level right there. Mm -hmm. Higher energy. Huh? It's, so it's so easy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I just picked that up just because I saw another thing 
which I, when I went into the spirit right there, what, you know, what I was saying was Holy Spirit and what he was doing with me. I was fellowshipping already. But because of you, I needed to give you something that's credible so that you would know that this is happening. I'm tangible. not just yes, tangible, tangible. tangible. Yes. so that you know that you, I must give you information that you could relate with. That's yes, why, yes, yes, yeah, yes. that's why I just, I just thought that. Right. It's just a matter of thought. I just thought that I only really just made me see that particular mm. Mm. brain situation. Mm. And it's on the side, this side of the brain of that person. And he said, so, somebody knows that person here. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe not here, maybe on television. I, didn't, I was not even sure. Mm -hmm. But I just saw it. Mm -hmm. and I, so this is just walking in and out of the spirit like this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is exactly what Holy Spirit, what Jesus got to that mountain, he just went to the spirit, he just went to the frequency of the spirit. Mm -hmm. The speed of light. Mm -hmm. And it was transfigured before them. So it should be a normal thing for us oh, yeah. to walk in the spirit. Yeah, but then that's the one thing. Then let's keep on reading that verse too. And he was transfigured before them. Then his face, because he went to that realm, to that speed of light. And that light energy, not double, speed of light. You know, when if it had gone to the speed, the speed of light double, it would have done what? <laughs> they would not see him again. Yes. But he stopped at the speed of light. Yes. So they saw the light come upon him, but he didn't disappear. If he had gone to double spirit of light, he would have become angel. Oh, that's where the angel side. He would have disappeared. Yeah. Huh? Wrote to Emmaus. That's why he disappeared when... Yes, yes. Emmaus. That's the speed of yes. light, yes. yes. That's speed of light double. That's speed of light double. Yeah. From, yeah. 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 But this one light. with the light here and there, that's just spirit of light. But double, it would not disappear. Yeah. You, they would not see him again. Like on the road to a mouse. Penetrating through the wall. Yeah. Enoch traveled at that double speed of light. Sorry? Enoch. Enoch. Enoch, yeah, 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 yeah. So, oh, where is it? There. Could I, could I, could I, could I, okay. So then the light came, and his came became as, I mean, why, you know, so it just, it just moved in, like just like I just moved in right now to a higher uh, level of energy. He just moving. And it's normal. It's by faith. Yeah. He just stepped out by faith into the spirit. Just like I just did now. I've just done another one right now. You know, but you know, any time, any moment, any second, it's so easy. You can walk with God. That's why you must practice. If you have not watched, I taught how to do this on mm, on my series on prayers. And I also taught on how to do this on the last series I did, how to know God and be a friend of God. I taught how to do this, how to be able to walk in the spirit and walk in the consciousness of the spirit and walk, you know, fellowship with the spirit and be able to see God and walk with God. And, you know, I, I taught on that on how to know God. So please go and listen to that again with another consciousness. That's why I decided to repeat that series. God is so important and it's the least watched series. How to be a friend of God. How to know God and be a friend of God. People, it's not sensational enough for people. <laughs> the miracle. You know that it's the biggest miracle to be able to walk with God in the spirit. So that's what Jesus did there. The, sp the spirit of light, he went to the level of the spirit of light. And that's why the light, that explains the light and everything. Now, this other thing that could have happened is that, so now let's see, and behold, Moses and Elijah so Jesus went to that spirit realm, and, and that spirit le level started fellowshipping with most, the God, Moses, Elijah. But because God wanted to communicate something to the whole world, so he allowed the, the, the uh, atmosphere that Jesus was in. Because Jesus was in that realm. So he allowed that realm, to that environment, so he carried along. His, he allowed them to enter into that environment. So they were able to see yeah. just everything he was saying. Just like, I, for example, I enter into that realm now, and I saw that person with the, with the lump in the head. But even as I was talking now, somebody else was talking, oh, I wish you would talk about my situation. Yes. And their situation is because there is, I think you have a broken hand or something in your hand, wrist area, you know. And I'm entering that spirit right now again. So, but if I take you, huh? You see? <laughs> You see, if I, you know, if, if, if I take, but what Jesus did is that he didn't just enter into that realm, but he took them along. 
So if I could do that, just bring you along, you would have been saying exactly what I saw. Yeah. So you see, he is the one right, right there. They are Syrians. Huh? The Assyrians, when they were, oh, the Assyrians, when they were about Elisha. to Israel, and Elisha was yeah. able to open oh, his eyes. eyes. So he spared so, him up. So that's what happened. So they could see, yeah. So they could see uh, what he was saying, which is Moses and Elijah. Just like you could have seen what I was saying yeah. with that situation with the hand. Yeah, I didn't want to get distracted with that situation with the hand to say, but you know, I just need to use it also as demonstration for you. So you see, that's what they saw. And then the higher, the higher level is when God, by His Spirit, also came. 